the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, and scraping uh, topical CBD oil, um, which is oh, uh, really good. Is that for, legal? Yes, yes. CBD is illegal across the board. Okay. Non non psychoactive, but the FDA is trying to stop that. Well, of those course, follow the money. Heads. Yeah, those creeps. Follow the money. To, it's a good explanation for just about everything. Yeah, they're trying to put it in the same classification as heroin. It's hilarious. What? Yeah, it's so stupid. It's just I mean, 100% it's just pharmaceutical drug man-made companies. Man-made institutions of decision-making. Yep. Well, it's just creepy people with money that don't want to lose money to CBD oil because it's so much better for you and, and healthy and natural and does the exact same thing. Imagine how much the drug companies would lose. Yeah. If or that... gain if they started selling it. You Bucks. It's just they want to monopolize it. That's the problem. Course, they want patents. Me. They want to be mm. able to patent things. You know, that's but that's uh, like we were talking about before about the things that are in the Amazon. I mean, that's they there's there's so many different plants that can deal with so many different ailments that people have. Mm. But, but like then, ayahuasca. Yeah, that's one of them. Sure. <laughs> have you done it? I haven't, but it's no? kind of interesting. Yeah. Have you done any psychedelics? No. Nothing. I've never done drugs ever. No drugs? No pot? Ever. Never. Uh, nothing. Are you scared? No. I d- I, my dad scared the living daylights out of me when I was a kid, and he told me that if I ever, he's like, you get tested for drugs and you fail, you, you won't ever be a race car driver. He told me that about drinking and driving, too. If you, get, if you lose your license, you won't be able to race. And then, you know, what are you going to be when you grow up then? You know, mm. he threatened me with oh, dad. remedial down, dad. remedial jobs. Jesus. And um, yeah, so he scared the living daylights out of me. Truth be told, you can lose your license, still race. Also, truth be told, I didn't get drug tested until way later. But Meanwhile, we do get drug tested. You're we running a drug, drug farm. Oh, what? You sell wine. You're running uh, a drug farm. Well, kind of. I That's guess. a drug farm, lady. It's, it's legal. Above it's 21. a 100% drug farm. It's wonderful, delicious tasting drugs. It sure is. <laughs> you get fucked up on wine. Yeah. I mean, what is that? That's drugs. And addicted to drinking alcoholism. 100%. Right? Sure. I mean, there's a lot of other things that you can do that yeah. are altering that aren't addictive, right? You're running a plant based drug farm. 100%. Cash crops. Yeah. That's what you're doing. You're a drug dealer. <laughs> well, let's just go all the way. Well, if I was going to do something, what would be the first thing I would do? Pot. Oh. For sure. Okay. Nice and light, real slow. <laughs> Don't take much. What does that mean, don't take much? It just take a little bit. You don't want to freak out. Oh. Like the, One of the major problems that people have when they first start smoking pot, they'll take like <laughs> two or three hits. You, you can take one, one like, that's it, put it down. Put it, right, Jamie? <laughs> yeah, Jamie will tell you. Okay. L- little hit, walk away. Yeah, don't fuck with edibles. Leave those alone. Those, those you need to build up to those things. Oh. Those are, there's, those those are, are for a completely different experience. A- experienced users? Well, it's not just that. Even experienced users, they don't recognize the fact that it's a completely different psychoactive ingredient. Oh. Yeah. When hmm. THC... It's not THC? No. When it's processed by your liver, it produces 11 hydroxymetabolite, Whoa. which is four to five times more psychoactive than THC. It's way more potent. Whoa. Yeah, which is why people freak out when they eat edibles, and they just don't... Don't eat the whole brownie. No. <laughs> Just a couple crumbs, and then don't even think about having any more for at least two hours. Let it settle in. Let it. Give yourself time. Yeah. Don't freak out after 15, 20 minutes and be like, it's not working. Right. Don't do that. This is the That's kind of what thing. I do sometimes when I'm drinking. I'm like, I'm sure. Man, this is my third drink. It just doesn't seem to be working. And then I hit it harder, and then I'm, I Boom. don't remember anything. And then and you hit I the wall. Brown out or black out, whatever. <laughs> yeah, drugs. You um, do drugs. Yeah, actually, one of, the, one of the first times I heard one of your podcasts, I think it was, it was about DMT. Yeah. That's the mother load. DMT is the psychoactive ingredient that's in ayahuasca. And right, it's right. The most potent psychedelic. Seems like a cleaner, cleaner way to do it as opposed to ayahuasca, where you yeah. throw up and Poop. shoot yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely probably. Uh, it's also quicker. <laughs> you know, like the worst, the longest it's going to take is like fifteen or twenty minutes. But there's some places that are doing it now where they're doing it intravenously. So those trips are apparently, that was how they did it in, um, there's a book called DMT, the Spirit Molecule Mm -hmm. Molecule by Mm -hmm. this guy, Dr. Rick Strassman, who did all these studies out of the University of New Mexico. And uh, they were the first uh, FDA approved clinical studies. Um, he did it with a group of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I saw it. something about that. It's ama- It was amazing, but they, they did were in a hospital interve- yes. and they did it intravenously. Yeah, and they were gonzo <laughs> for like forty minutes, like boom, off into the, off into the other dimension. I was gonna say so. 
other dimension, right? This dream state. Is, do you think it's like a dream state? Uh, it's very similar because they believe that your brain during heavy REM sleep also produces DMT. And they think mm. that's... Because we all have it. We all yes, have DMT. Everybody has it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah everybody it's has it. It's naturally occurring in everyone. Yes. It's produced by your liver, your lungs, and... Now they know it's also produced, at least in rats, by your pineal gland, which is literally your third eye. Mm-hmm. That's, it's, it actually, in certain reptiles, it yeah. actually has a retina and a lens. Shut it's, up. Yeah, yeah it, is, it is an eye. I'm always trying to decalcify my pineal gland. Is that real? I don't know. You get that from them crystal people in Sedona? Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, they say it's like fluoride. Fluoride's calcifying your pineal gland, mm. man. Like, okay. I did watch a cool how's thing. How's it getting in there? Yeah, yeah. How's it getting through my mouth and through my, Are you sure? Are you sure well, fluoride's yeah, it goes getting in, in there? everything. You are what you eat. Yeah, sort of. But are you what you drink? Are that you, too. Are you wine? Yes. <laughs> yes, I get better with age. Duh. <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I don't know if you really your pineal gland actually gets calcified by fluoride in drinking water. I, yeah. That sounds like some hippie horseshit. It does sound hippie horseshit. I'd yeah. like to see some scientific proof. But hey, man, with all the hippie shit, there's not a lot of scientific proof with it. No, no, there's not. Uh, it's but, a sense of knowing. That's what it comes down to is a sense of knowing. Like, do you really feel like this is making sense to you? Does it register? Are you like, hmm, I don't know why I believe this, but I just do. I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> 